let's deal with the link to the recipe itself because that'll be the easiest one because it doesn't involve any images. So the rules about that in the assignment. <laughs> um, so you're going to link to your recipe and it points out that the text of your link should say something helpful. Helpful to who? Helpful to an audience. Not to me or teacher, think of a real audience. So we want to write some text underneath the recipe, um, below, below the list, right? Not inside the directions, but after the list. So after this OL, so that's going to be a paragraph because everything has to be enclosed in tags. And what else is it going to be if it's not a list and it's text? So far, all you know is paragraphs. So um, let's see. Um, this recipe came from uh, the allrecipes.com site. Now, if I read that, I would think you were taking me to the home page, and that's not what you're going to do with this link. So that's not really very good. I'm going to erase that. I'm going to say, see the original recipe. And then I'm just going to leave it like that. OK, now what do I want to be blue and underlined? What do I want to be the actual link? Do I want the whole sentence to be the link? Or do I just want certain key words? How about only original recipe? OK, so let's wrap that in an A. And what about the period? Do you want the period to be blue and underlined? I don't want it to be. I think it looks nicer if the punctuation is outside the link. All right, what else do I need in here? I need an attribute, which is href. Attributes always have an equal sign and what? Two double quotes, OK? So it's just like the image tags you learned last week. When you have an attribute inside a tag, an attribute has both a name and a value. Here the name is href for hypertext reference. And the value is going to be what? the URL that takes us to the original recipe. Now, I happen to have that down here. I happen to have this nice short version. And I'm just going to copy that to begin with, because I'm going to talk about the two versions of my link. Copy it, go in between the double quotes very carefully, and then paste. All right, now let me save that, come back to what I'm going to talk about. File, save. All right, come over here and re reload. OK, so here is my text right here. This is how it looks. Notice how the period is outside. It's actually purple, not blue, because I've already visited that page. And I'm going to click it, and I'm going to go to the original. Notice, I mean, I, I strongly advise you to actually click every link you ever make on any page because that is the way to be sure that you did not make a mistake. And the person on the other end, your audience, they're not going to get a page not found. You know how frustrating that is. So this is the original recipe. You can see there's a lot of junk on here that I did not include. but my directions and my ingredients and the name of the recipe came right from this page. OK, so let me make that back to normal size. All right, let me talk about links that are long and links that are short. So when I searched for a recipe for this dish called Fessenjun, um, and it's very delicious, um, the page that I was on had this ridiculously long URL. And it was long with all these equal signs and numbers and words like search and event and results because this URL was generated by the search that I did on the allrecipes.com site. So this is a really, really ugly URL. But often, if you look at a URL like that, and I'm just going to copy it so you can see what I'm about to do. Give it a lot of space. If you look in this URL, you see HTTP, 
then you see allrecipes.com. This should start to be familiar to you now that you're starting to work with HTML documents. What's next? There is a directory recipe, and then there is another directory name, Persian Fessenjun, and then there's a word, a name detail.aspx with a question mark. The question mark designates that there were search terms after this. And so what I first tried to do was I said, what if I delete everything after the question mark and the question mark? What if I try that URL? So I go into my browser, I open up a new tab, I paste, I press enter return, and that took me to the recipe. And then I tried something else. I said, well, do I really need that word detail.aspx? Because Persian Fessenjun is a directory on this site. And so I took those words off the end and I tried it again and it worked. So that led me to this much shorter URL and that is the URL that I have actually used in my HTML. So you need to test this. If you're going to shorten a URL, it might not work. So you better test it in the browser because you never ever want to send your audience to a page not found or a file not found. Um, but sometimes you can shorten these links. So I am done with my links to the All Recipes site. I'm going to delete those. I'm going to save. I'm going to close that window, reload. Okay, so now I'm left with my two images.